Good evening and welcome. Very warm welcome to everyone. And uh, thank you for joining us uh, this very special evening. As we know, the theme of the hour is living goddesses in India, women in Bollywood. So we thought that at least one host this evening should be a woman. And that's me. <laughs> thank you. So once again, I want to thank everyone for being here. The occasion is very special. We are, India uh, is entering 70 years of independence this year. And uh, to celebrate that, the Danish Film Institute and us, that is the Embassy of India, are very, very proud to present to you 14 extremely special films that have come out recently of one of the biggest film industries in the world, and that is the Hindi film industry, better known as Bollywood. But before we uh, begin this event, we would like to start with a short and sweet Indian tradition of lighting of a lamp, which we do when we mark a festive occasion. So may I please request our ambassador, His Excellency Mr. Rajiv Shahare, renowned Indian filmmaker Ms. Lina Yadav, and Vice President of Danish Film Institute, Jakob Bull Festival, please. everyone. When we say the word Bollywood, the first thing almost in everyone's mind universally is the association with dance and music. But having been an India, Indian living abroad for many, many years, the first go-to response of most Indians is when someone asks something about India. You see, India is a very diverse nation, comma, blah, 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 it makes everything easier. I would say the same thing about Bollywood. It's not just a brand, it's a universe. So everything is as diverse as the nation it comes from. And the same can be said about dance that you see more often in Bollywood music or Bollywood films. So we are attempting to present to you a glimpse of diversity that you may not see that often in Bollywood movies. We'll start with our first performance. We have a good lineup of three performances this evening and we hope you enjoy them. The first performance is from the state of Rajasthan, which is in the west of India. Most of you will be familiar with it. It's a folk dance, which is uh, performed mostly on festivals and such by big groups of people and the interesting part is that these this genre of dance and music is performed by communities who have pretty much been born into uh, performing art as a profession this form of dance and music has formed its found its way into indian cinema very often so you might be familiar with it so let's welcome our first performers for the evening.
second performance is also a kind of folk dance. Actually, there are two from the same state, the state of Gujarat, also in the west of India. These are also performed in surprise, surprise color costumes. But the uniqueness of, of one of these dance forms, which is Dandia, is that, as you saw in the first one, these guys also use sticks, which look like drumsticks, but are really much cooler. And uh, as you heard, they use these sticks to, as props, but they also transform into percussion artists while simultaneously being dancers. So uh, let's welcome our second performers and uh, welcome the spirit of Garba and Dandia.
medley of four very popular songs from the past year. And uh, let's see what our beautiful ladies have to offer.
ladies. We'll wait for their photos to get taken. They deserve it. Many people don't know what the last gig was about. <laughs> the last bit was actually a detergent ad that we have been uh, listening to and watching for, I don't know, from the 70s or 80s or something. Uh, obviously, I was not born then. But it's still going on and with full uh, blast and it's always about women, this ad, so I think it was really appropriate and it resonated with all of us. We love Nirma <laughs> and thank you. With that, we come to uh, the end of the first half of this evening and now you will move on to your second host, not me. And I hope you uh, had a wonderful time and thank you for being such a great audience. Now I would request everyone to move up to the auditorium where you will have the best experience you've had in a long time while watching a film. Thank you.